Previously on Stingers. What's it with you and Angie? Angie's a grown woman. She can make her own decisions. I mean, you create aphrodisiacs non-stop. That is a sexy way to live. Have you ever had sex with a whisk? You are, aren't you? Dangerous, I mean. I think you like it like that. Really? I do. You are, aren't you? I think you like it like that. I do. Yeah, I think you like your men with a bit of an edge. Yeah, I think you like your men with a bit of an edge. Where's the other tape? The other tape. Where is it? Hmm? There's only the one. There has to be another tape. I might not have reloaded. Do you understand? What I've had to go through. Do you understand what I had to do with that thing? All for nothing now. Chris, I'm sorry. It's okay. I screwed up. Well, like I said, you're a moron. Four days. Five nights. Yeah. We really got to try and get some sleep tonight. Why spoil such a good thing? Oh, is that all it is? Good thing. A bloody good thing. How's that? That better? You ever take anything seriously? My life's too short to take seriously. And that's definitely a man's answer. Oh yeah, what's a woman's answer? Maybe I should uh, lock the front door first so you don't try to escape. Ever thought about just chucking it all in? Running away? Running away? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, Las Vegas. <laughs> just like that. Well, if the opportunity ever comes up, I think I'd be off like a shot. Wouldn't you? If you were coming with me, yeah. How do you think, um... I think Steve knows about us. Oh, I doubt it. We've been careful. It's just awkward working with him. He still thinks he can patch things up with me. Well, you told him it was over. Yeah, yeah about a month ago. Just if I let go, that's all. Maybe it's time you started looking for another job. I have been. Believe me, it's not that easy. <laughs> Tell me about it. Don't you worry about Steve. He'll get over it. So you got any jealous girlfriends I should be worried about? Yeah, a few. hundred. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Is there anybody else? Oh, there was someone. Up until recently. Last place I worked. It was, uh... A missed opportunity thing. She's with someone else now. Well, that's what happens when you don't grab the opportunities when they present themselves. All oh, right, so I'm an opportunity to be grabbed, right? Hmm. More than just a good thing, isn't it? Hmm? Sure, he's looking that way. I gotta get to work. It's only 6.15. Things to do. Now, I want you to get some sleep, okay? You look like you could use it. <laughs> Las Vegas.
any luck, it'll be all over by lunch. I've just had a call from our friends in Queensland to say the shipment arrived overnight stuffed in the cushions of a grey sofa. And the goods have been confirmed? 20,000 ecstasy tablets. Street value upwards of one million dollars. And we sure the sofa was loaded? We've tracked it right down the coast to the warehouse where Peter's working. I'm scheduled to help deliver it today. Just got to find out where. We'll keep an eye on the truck. When the sofa's delivered, we'll get a warrant and make the bust. Peter? Care to update us on the removal company? So far, I've got no evidence that any of the staff know that the truck's being used to move drugs. But that doesn't mean they're not into it up to their necks. Who are our key suspects? The owner, Steve Dayton. If anyone's involved, he is. The other possible suspect is the driver, Kevin Mangos. Mango for short. He's got prize, but nothing recent. What about her? She's not involved. Didn't you say she was Dayton's girlfriend? Ex. How can you be so sure about her and not the others? I just am. Angie, across the road is a grid. Leo, Chris, the convey. Good enough tags? Yes. Good. Had to run out at the crucial moment. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Why not? We were great together. That's not how I remember it. I think it's going to be better if we don't have to see each other at all. What do you mean? It's best that I resign. I'm giving you a week's notice. Morning. You ready to roll? No worries yet. What's up with him? He won't take no for an answer. Mm. Give him time. I gave him notice instead. I'm finishing at the end of the week. I can't work here anymore. No wonder he's pissed off. Has he said anything about us? You're not on his radar. Just mine. Hmm. You uh, wouldn't have the manifest for this job, would you? He's got it. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know the delivery address. Patterson Lakes. It shouldn't take long. Bates! Get your ass into gear. I want this truck back by 11. You've got another house lot out of storage to load up this afternoon. Hey, don't break anything. How was the trip down? I slept like a baby the whole way. How do you think the trip went? I'll get this lot done, I can go home to bed. Where are we headed? I'm doing the driving, you don't need to know that. East down Levitt Street. Mango's driving. East on Levitt. Got him. Let's go. Is your tracker working? Yep, we're good. Okay, now don't get too close. Don't get too close. Did you hear that? Yes, thank you. Marshall Crescent. Looks like 225. Can you call Sophie? I bet it's got a pool and a spa. Hmm, and only three buses and two trains to your nearest nightclub. Sophie? Leo. Yeah, we've got a target address. It's 225 Marshall Crescent, Patterson Lakes. 
When you get a name, can you run it through the database and see if the owner's got form? All right, thanks. Can you make sure the listening gear's ready to go? Pete's planning the bug, yeah? Yeah, as soon as he finds out where the sofa's going. Use those new tapes. Easy. It's worth more than you earn in a month, that piece. What do you want? That bear will be fine. Nice place. Yeah. Just moving in. No, it cost me a fortune to make it look like this, dickhead. Shouldn't take too long. No, just make sure you don't bust anything. What's this bloke's name? Bender. Like what I'm going on when I knock off. All right. What's the matter? Nothing. Everything looks fine. No, I mean, with us. You've been snapping at me all morning. No, I haven't. I thought we were cool. We are. Then why are you treating me like a complete dickhead? I'm sorry. I really didn't realise. Maybe we should talk about what happened with the chef. No, OK? It's OK. Well, you're obviously still pissed off that I stuffed up. Look, I said it was OK. Maybe you were just a little bit too quick to forgive me. Leo, just let it go. Come on, Chris, what do you want to say? Look, I'm fine. Stop hiding it, Chris. Well, just shut up. All right, OK. You're an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Have another go. Oh, you're a real bastard, you know that? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> hey. You reckon that's her sofa? Well, it's grey. It's gotta be it then. I haven't moved any other sofas. Is that about it? Yeah, almost. <sighs> you got some nice stuff, mate. Looks yeah. like the wife's been buying up a bit. Look, you should call the boss. Tell him to organise that warrant. Now that one stays. Where's it going? Like the warehouse. Different consignment. Yes. Any more to be cheaper to uh, leave in Queensland, buy it down here. I'm sorry, mate, I don't set the rates. No. Hey boss, I've got the details on that house where they delivered the sofa. It was just bought by a guy called Bernard Thomas Bender. Very bad boy Bender. Thought you might know him. He's got a very long record, hasn't he? Yes, goes back to before I was born. Do any of them ever retire? Well, we thought he had. But apparently, once a bad boy, always a bad boy. Hmm. I need a warrant ASAP. You organise the paperwork for me to sign, I'll organise the magistrate. Yep. Any problems? No, mate, piece of piss. Who's he? Client. You've got something for him. Hmm. Something for you, too. Take that sofa and put it in the van. My papers, right? The only manifest was for the house lot that we delivered this morning. Stop, right there. What is this? It's your sofa. Now, this is not my sofa. It has to be. It's not my bloody sofa. Don't you think I know what my sofa looks yeah, like? Sorry, mate. We must have delivered the wrong one. Well, you'd better go back and get the right one. Now! 
Hurry up for Christ's sake. We set? Yep. All units are in place. Bend is still inside? Yep. Anybody else? I don't think so. Unless, of course, they're sleeping. Have we got sound? Hot August night. Neil Diamond. Plus, you know, a little bit of the Beatles. Make sure nobody leaves. All units stand by. Await my command. Copy that. What? They're back. All units hold your positions. Maybe they forgot something. Can you get closer on the back of the truck? Mm. Another sofa. Why would they come back with another sofa? Unless they delivered the wrong sofa first up. Sorry, Mr. Ben, there's been a bit of a mix-up. You got the wrong sofa. That one's been damaged. Must have already been like that. No, it bloody well wasn't. I don't want it. I'm happy with the one I've got. That's your sofa. Not anymore, palsy. Yes, yeah, me. Did you get it? No, oh, no, he refused to swap my over. Are you sure he understood what you were telling him? Yeah, no, he understood all right. So what do you want us to do? Go in there and get it right. If he tries to stop you, then bail him one. Yeah, look, it's me. They've got the wrong sofa, and Dayton's told them to go in there and take it by force. Thanks, Edge. It's about to get ugly. Look here, you get out of the way and you won't get it. Get out! Now listen, I just told you to. Yeah, man. The sofa stays! Oh. Get out of my house! What about you? Do you want some? Hey! Oh. Oh. Boss, shouldn't we move in? We do that, we've got no. Oh. Hey, hey, let it go, man, go! Let it go. Let's just get the sofa and get out of here. Come it's in, right? Ah, so. You'll pay for this, you bastards. Shit. Fender's obviously not our buyer. What now? I'll follow them. Hold your positions. You two stay here until we work out what the hell's going on. And keep your eye on Bender in case he decides to do something stupid like go after them. Yeah. They just drove back in. Any problems? Well, they got the sofa back. Before they left, a guy in a transit van arrived. He's still in there. Did you get the register? Yeah, I did. I ran it through the computer. It's owned by a guy called Danny Kinnear. He's got forms, stand over, and aggravated assault. What's wired in there? Uh, the office and a phone on the desk. What about the main warehouse? We couldn't get it in, too much noise. If we want to find out what's going on, we've got to rely on Pete. Like I said, no problem. Put it in the van. No, put it down. Is there something wrong? I know. But whatever it is, it's gone. I paid a lot of money for something and you haven't delivered it. Now, I want what I paid for, and I want it now. Have you seen this bloke before? A few times, yeah. 
been in to see Steve. Business? Well, nasty business by the looks of it. Hey, listen, I think I might, um, take off, yeah? I don't think it's a good idea right now. Just, just make yourself look busy for now. I want to know who else knew. I want to know who else you told. No one. I swear I told no one. What about you? I've got no idea what you're talking about, mate. I just drive the truck. I just started here a few weeks ago. It might help if we knew what we were looking for. A package. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Believe me, that's all you want to know. It was in the sofa when it left Cairns, and now it's not. What about you? Must have been Bender. Bender? Yeah, the bloke we delivered the sofa to by mistake. Well, that'd explain why I didn't want to give the sofa back, eh? Well, let's go pay him a call. No one leaves here until I get my stuff back. Do you understand that? No one. Sure. No problem. Bates, you stay here. Mango. Ange, they're going back to Benders to get the gear. I'll call as soon as I can. The transit van's leaving. Call Chris and let her know what's going on. I'll tail the van and hook up with her and Flynn back at Benders. We move on Bender once this guy's inside. OK. I want a word with you. Hey, you've got work to do. Every time I turn around, you're slinking after someone. I'll talk to you alive. Hey, just me. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, did you get my message? Yeah, Harris is heading back to Bender's right now. Dayton's in the office with Ava. He's looking pretty animated. What's he saying? You know, Steve, I can't take this anymore. I'm finishing today. What? You can't? Yeah, I can. He's hassling up. What about? There's no need to leave. Yeah. We can work this out. It's over, Steve. He's trying to stop her from Has quitting. Been. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. What else? Where were you last night? I called around. I'm staying elsewhere. Why? Because I'm sick of you turning up unannounced. You're seeing someone. Well, that's none of your business. He wants to know if she's seeing someone. What's she saying? It's him, isn't it? I see the way you smile at him, giving him a come on. You're losing it. Well, she's denying it, says he's being paranoid, and that it's none of his business. He says it's his business because... We've been screwing face! Don't say that. What? You in love with him, Ava? Because what? And? Come on, what's he saying? He says it's his business because he thinks she's screwing you. I want to know the hell what's going on! Ange, do us a favour, will you? you just, can't just keep this to yourself for a while. I'll talk about it later. Yeah, OK. Thanks. Hey, but don't walk away from me. I haven't been talking to you. Got to go, Ange. You all right, Ava? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, no, Steve. If I find out you're messing in my business, Bates, you will pay. Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Stay away from her. Doesn't waste time. <sighs> I thought you assholes got what you wanted. So it is you. The Barry Bender. I'm better known as Bad Boy. Do I know you? Well, let's just say we work in the same field. Barry. The fact is, I've finished with all that sort of thing. 
I retired. Pensioner, you might say. Yeah? Well, how come my couch came back with half its stuffing missing? Oh, I don't know anything about this stuffing. Law-abiding citizen, this me. That's why when I realised it wasn't my sofa, I give it back to you. You know why I'm here. Uh, I want to show you something. I want to show you a little something I've been saving for my retirement. For uh, when I write my memoirs, you know? So what do you think of that? He's still talking crap. Why is Ben just showing him something? Drugs. All units, go, go, go! A little bit more than you bargained for. Now you just take a look around. I don't need the aggravation. stashed here, then he's come up with a new and innovative place to hide it. Any chance he could have slipped under our surveillance for a few minutes? Dumped it somewhere else? No, I doubt it very much. I told you there was nothing you would find. You know, I think he's enjoying this. Maybe he's got nothing to hide. So, who does? Well, it's a short list and Dayton's name's on the top of it. Right, what do you want us to do? Pack him up and take him in for a chat. I'll ring Church and get him to put some pressure on Dayton. See if he knows where the stuff is. Mm -hmm. You stay here, turn the place over again, make sure we haven't missed anything. Yeah, I'm not here right now. Leave a message. Call in, please. Time for an update. Oh, good. You got my message? Yeah, what's going on? You need to go. Now. What are you worried about? Kinnear frightens me. We need to go. Leaving now will just piss him off. He'll think we pinched whatever he's looking for. Don't worry. I'll look after you. Let's just walk out of here right now, hey? Jump on a plane. Where to? Las Vegas. Why not? You and me, let's just pack our bags and walk out the door. <laughs> Take what's on offer and go. I reckon I've got just about enough cash to get a cab to the airport. You tell me how are we going to uh, fly to Las Vegas on my money, let alone live there? How does a million dollars sound? What? There were ecstasy tablets in that sofa. Thousands of them. You took them? Well, I heard Steve talking on his mobile and knew where to look. That's why I went in there early this morning. I was so scared, I nearly didn't do it. <laughs> I don't believe it. What? Come on, they're just ecstasy tablets. This is what we talked about. This is our chance. Where are they? Hidden in the ladies' loo at work. <laughs> we could sell them ourselves. Mm, you must know a few people. I know a couple of guys who sell at parties. We could do it. Come on, I know we could. All we've got to do is go back in there and get them. No, 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 no. A simple question. What am I being charged with? A simple answer. Possession of an illegal weapon. See, judges don't like smart asses like you carrying handguns. It makes them very nervous. 
How long have you known Barry Bender? Never met him before today. Well, what were you doing at his house? He damaged my sofa. I wanted compensation. But you guys came barging in before we had a chance to discuss it. Uh, that would be the sofa that you had shipped out from Cairns? Yeah. Must be a pretty special sofa. Have it brought all the way down here. Sentimental value. <laughs> Danny, we know there were drugs in the sofa. Your sofa. We've tracked it all the way down from Cairns. We've got surveillance tapes, audio tapes, phone taps. Well, if there were drugs in the sofa, someone must have put them there, because I know nothing about any drugs. You just keep digging. You're getting in deeper and deeper. Well, you say there were drugs. Show me. You can't, can you? Because you haven't got them, and you haven't got them, because there weren't any drugs in the first place. Oh, we'll find them. Don't worry, he's always gone by five o'clock. Yeah, but today's probably been a little different. Trust me. Mike! Come near me, honey, and I'll blow his brains out. What are you doing? Shut it! You stupid bitch, Ava. You're screwing a cop. What? Tell her. I don't know what you're talking about. Stinking, filthy cop. You couldn't be. Open your eyes, Ava. He's been bullshitting you the whole way along. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. It's over for you, mate. All right, all right, I know where the drugs are. What? I hid them. I took them and I hid them. You can have them, just let him go. This is bullshit. No, it's not. Just take the drugs and let him go. All right? Leave us alone. I don't think it's that easy. He's not going to crack any time soon. Well, he thinks he's in the clear. Well, he will be if we don't locate the drugs. Anything from Leah? No, he's still looking. Have you heard from Peter? No. We'll try and track him down. We need to push Daggy. I'll try and squeeze something out of Bender. Stay still, dickhead. Wanna get off, eh? Down the hatch. I've answered that already. Tell me again. I kept the sofa because they damaged mine. That's only fair, isn't it? And then all of a sudden, oh, 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 round they come saying, we've made a mistake. This is your sofa. And it was my sofa. But it looked like shit, so I thought, bugger you, I'm going to keep the one they've already delivered. But you knew it wasn't your sofa when they first delivered it. Not necessarily. I mean, I thought maybe the missus had been out shopping, as she does, and bought another one. But when they returned your old sofa, you must have realised there'd been a bit of a mix-up. <laughs> Gee, haven't you ever shut your mouth when a mistake's been made in your favour? Not when the goods are packed with illegal substances. I didn't find any illegal substances because I wasn't bloody looking for illegal substances. It's a sofa, for Christ's sake. It's for sitting on, not stuffing up your nose. It was ecstasy, not coke. Whatever. Look, you know my form. I'm from the old school. Bank robbery, arm robbery, bit of payroll jobs. I'm not into the drug shit. You know that. Well, if you didn't take the drugs, Barry, who do you think did? I don't know, Luke. And I'm here to tell you, I'm too old to care. Oh, no, I'll do that now. Shit. What 
What a Kinnear say to you? He said, I admire, I admire your work. As if I give a shit what he thinks. Hello. Where? You sure it was him? Thank you. We just found a collection of your clippings, Barry. Yeah. Apparently, there's a happy snap of you and one of our operatives. Well, I wouldn't know. I mean, you all look the same to me. <laughs> I reckon you made our man, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, we can discuss it when they bring the evidence in. That could take two, three, ten hours. Uh, look, when he first came in, yes, he looked familiar. I waited till he'd gone, and then I had a look at my files and at crust. It was 15 years ago, but yes, it was him. And you told Kinnear? He happened to see the clippings, that's all. Kinnear was on the phone when we busted in. Who was he calling, Barry? I don't know. Was it Dayton? It was Dayton, wasn't it? Church's cover's been blown. Well, I'll call him. Sit tight and wait for backup. Luke! You do not go in there alone. You sit tight and wait till somebody else arrives, have you? I hear you. I'll wait for backup. Stay there. Get in the car. You kill you! What's happened to you? Oh, oh, Go and get an ambulance. Go! Hey, come, stay with me. Hurry up! Ecstasy tablets. How many is he consuming? I don't know, a couple of handfuls. How long ago? About 20 minutes, half an hour ago. I've got a massive ecstasy overdose. Get someone down from ICU. Is he going to be OK? Oh, you'll have to go outside now, please. We'll need a nasogastric tube and some activated charcoal. Let's get his stomach pumped. Just tell me, is he going to be OK? Please, you have to go. Get Dr Nelson down here now. Baby? Hi. Dad. Oh, over? She's OK. They're giving you something to neutralise the ecstasy. <clears throat> You're going to be all right. Dayton's in the next room. Just got out of surgery. Good shot. Thanks. What's happened to Ava? Questioned and released. Did she have anything to do with this? She found the drugs, hit them. She was going to call the cops, but Dayton got onto us. So you were sleeping with her? Yeah. Go on, say it. Bad judgment, sleeping with the target. Oh, let's not get into bad judgment and how we sleep with Ange. Sometimes we go that little bit far. But you were sleeping with her to get information? Mm -mm. Are you absolutely certain she had nothing to do with this? Mm -hmm. All right, what do you want to do about the tapes? Is there anything on them I should worry about? 
Well, Dayton accuses her of having an affair with you. She doesn't exactly deny it. If it comes out, it comes out. What's going on here, Pete? Sounds like you're really involved with this woman. Hi. Hi. How's the head? Which one? <laughs> you did well, Peter. A good result, considering the whole thing went pear-shaped. Yeah, thanks. Well, enough for one day. We'll follow this up later. Do you need something? A, a book? <laughs> Can't read. Um, cross eyed We'll let you get some sleep. Mm. Yeah. See you later. See you. See you. If you need anything, call me. Cheers. Is he going to arrest me? No. I squared it. You're in the clear. But you've got to give evidence at the Dayton trial. So this whole time you were just trying to get information out of me? No. No? Were you planning on telling me you were a cop? Of course. When? When it was all over. Well, that's handy. Ava, if you hadn't ripped off a drug dealer and tried to make a fast buck, then... I know. It wasn't just all me, though, was it? There's something there. I kept you out of jail. Guess not every opportunity is worth grabbing onto. Don't always get what you expect. No. Sometimes it's better. Still thinking about going to Las Vegas? I am. Maybe one day. If I do, send you a postcard. Make sure you do.